This community's leadership 20 years ago uh, really got together and said, let's make some concerted uh, investments uh, in downtown. And, and you can see uh, the products of that all throughout the downtown, whether it's you know, big investments like an arena or a ballpark, whether it's streetscape investments. Uh, it's clear that a lot of uh, uh, historic buildings have been invested in and turned into housing. Um, so you can see you know, a 15, 20 year sustained investment um, that uh, was driven by the, the, the civic leaders of, of, of its time. And uh, what's interesting now is uh, we're here in 2019 and uh, I think this study is uh, you know, part of the next group of leadership. Uh, this is really their opportunity to say, hey, what do we want to build as a community moving forward? Part of what this plan uh, aims to do is start that conversation about building capacity for uh, more nonprofit developers, folks that are able to come and take existing historic units and invest in them, other folks that are able to develop skill sets to develop housing that fits within the context of a neighborhood. That all takes uh, development and capacity. If new tools are created, uh, providing technical assistance to make homeowners and landlords aware of the tools that are available and how to use them, all of these things uh, entail what we would call an ecosystem around uh, supporting uh, quality, uh, affordable housing development of scale. What are people able to pay and still have quality housing? When we're thinking about affordable housing, we're thinking about people that earn, earn roughly, you know, half the uh, half the regional average. And and um, how do we deliver a quality, affordable housing to everyone? It really means thinking about your entire community and making sure nobody gets left behind.